Today we are going to read one of the beautiful poems, Daffodils, written by perhaps one of the greatest romantic poets in the English literature till today, William Wordsworth. He was a great lover of nature and this poem is no different. Before we begin with the explanation of the stanzas, let me throw light on the background of the poem. This lyrical poem which gives expression to the feeling of joy in nature appeals more to the heart than to the intellect. That is what I feel. This poem was written in 1804, inspired by an event on 15th April 1802, in which Wordsworth and his sister Dorothy, they came across a long belt of daffodils. Daffodils here are the name is the name of the flowers. While they were traveling in the Gobarrow Park, Lake District, England. I feel title and theme can be better discussed at the end of the explanation of the stanzas. So here I begin with the explanation. First stanza, I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I here is the poet. The poet was moving aimlessly just like a cloud over the hills and the valley of the mountainous lake district in England. All at once means suddenly he came across a large number of golden daffodils. Near or on the side of the lake and under the trees. The flowers were moving lightly and quickly and they were dancing in the wind. In the first line, the poet directly compares himself to a cloud as he was wandering without any aim, just like the clouds. This is an example of simile. Now, what is simile here? Simile is a figure of speech where two things are compared using as or like word. You can check here as a cloud. Here he is comparing himself with a cloud using a word as. Therefore, the figure of speech used here is simile. There is one more figure of speech which is used for comparison that is metaphor. The difference is very simple. Whenever comparison is done without the use of words like or as, the figure of speech is said to be metaphor. I will give you an example which will make the difference very clear. She is like an angel. Like is used here. So this is simile. She is an angel. This is metaphor. As there is no usage of word like or as. There is a lot of usage of another figure of speech here. That is your personification. Now about personification. Remember students. Personification is when we give human being characteristics or the humanly living characteristics or attributes to the non-humans or non-living. For example, in the poem, the words used for daffodils such as crowd, host, fluttering, dancing, all these words are used for humans. But they've used all these words for the daffodils, flowers. In the last line, you can see the poet personifies the flowers by saying that they were fluttering just like birds. Which if, who flat flutters? Birds or the butterflies flutters. And he says the daffodils were fluttering and were dancing. Who dances? Human beings dance. And moreover, he uses expressions like crowd and host. To mean that he saw a large area covered with a whole lot of daffodils. So this is also an indication. There is also an indication. See here from the word breeze. 
that it was a windy day so from the first stanza we get an overall idea the about the landscape which includes the valleys hills lake trees the flowers daffodils beneath them and the breezy or the windy atmosphere this was all about your first stanza